To please keep their mobile phones on silent mode. Parents and children, please avoid coming near this. Speech by her. Warm greetings to you all. I am Shreya Agarwal of Class 7th and it is my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to the 15th annual day celebration of Adroit Progressive School. It is indeed a matter of great pride and honor for me to be 1938 with his great grandfather, late Sri Dul Chandavarji. His father, Late Sri Trilok Chandavaji, too, was very. The directors, Mr. and Mrs. Janija, to also join them. then the most important is to take care of our health as a top priority. Keeping healthy both in body and mind. That is why it is important that we have to encourage our children to consume the correct and balanced diet of food and not have a sedentary lifestyle. Let them play a sport, do yoga, walk, run or even dance without a care. At the same time, learn many life skills. I applaud the great efforts made by all the students and all the teachers to bring you today's cultural extravaganza and I sincerely hope that you all will enjoy the show as much as we have enjoyed preparing and now presenting it for you. I would like to make a special mention of our activities coordinator Mrs. Geeta Malhotra, Mrs. Vandana Unyal and the new director of student affairs Ms. Insha Juneja who has just been eating, breathing and sleeping Ramayana for the past so many days. I thank all the parents for their support and cooperation to the school and to their children to prepare for the annual day celebrations 2022. I would like to end my address with an advice to the parents. That habit never goes. And this advice is about the children. Maintain a balance between mentoring and monitoring. Give your child freedom to do things they want to do, to let them reach their actual potential. But remember to keep that balance between mentoring and monitoring. This new generation is very ambitious. The social structures are changing. I now invite the head girl of our school, Aditi Nordial, for the head girl speech. The world tells us that to win some, you have to lose some. So it is assumed that if you want to achieve academic excellence, you have to give up fun. If you want to win at music, you have to, you have to lose at dance. But this rule does not apply to the students at Adroit Progressive School. Thanks to the way Adroit has groomed us, we know that it is possible to win at everything. Good evening to one and all present here. I am Aditi Nordia, the head girl of Adroit Progressive School, 
and it is my honor to stand here and address this brilliant gathering. Firstly, a huge thank you to the director, Mr. Arinda Singh Juneja, and the principal, Mrs. Rajni Juneja, for trusting me with the responsibility of representing this institution as the student body head. Where I am today. Good evening, everyone. I, Radha Pandri, the head boy of a drug progressive school, welcomes you all to the 15th annual day celebrations. It is indeed a matter of pride and privilege for me to speak on the behalf of the student body on such an auspicious occasion. As I stand here today, I can't help but remember the most cherished years of my life spent at this school. The greatest musician, vocals of the year award goes to Kanika Dhanu. In the Performing Arts category, the Best Musician Instrumental Award of the year goes to Ansh Gusain. In the Performing Arts category, the Best Actor of the Year Award goes to Aleshwar Ansari. The second award for Best Actor category of the year goes to Anubhav Pesh. In the Fine Arts category, the Best Artist of the Year Award goes to Aditi Mojilal. In the Fourth category, the Best Sports Person of the Year Award goes to Mohammed Patil.
the masterpiece the students of classes first to eight of a droy progressive school have prepared for this evening it's more than just a story it's a symbol of hope and courage in the face of a dance drama now on yours the story begins in the heavens as the gods petition to lord vishnu god of protection about the demons that have been oppressing the rishis and brahmins on the earth the king of all demons ravan was blessed with a boon that made him invincible the son of king dashrath of ayodhya and get rid of the demons he incarnates and is born as ram young ram with his brothers lakshman bharat and shatrughan arrive at the ashram of guru vashishth guru सिद्धाय सिद्धबुद्धाय भद्रभावाय ही नम विश्वपूज्याय पूज्य भावाय शर्मकंदाय ही नम बागीश्वराय बाकंबीराय भाग्मिताय ही नम गुरुदेवाय गुरुवक्त्राय गुरुचरणाय ही नम परब्रह्माय ब्रह्मय रूपशोधाय ही नम ध्वने गुरु शुभ्राय शुभ रत्नाय रत्न त्रैकर्णे श्रुतपाराय श्रुति साराय श्रुत प्रदायिने गुरु गौरवाय मोक्ष कंदाय दिवते तेजो भल दे गुरु हे मा सरिते गुरु धर्म मार्गाय मार्ग भद्राय गुण गरिष्ठाय ही नम ज्ञान मत्ताय ज्ञान यज्ञाय ज्ञान साराय ही नम योग साराय योग काराय योग चंद्राय ही नम गुरुदेवाय गुरु वक्त्राय गुरु चरणाय ही नम पर ब्रह्माय ब्रह्म रूपाय रूप शुद्धाय ही नम गुरुदेवाय गुरु वक्ताय गुरुचरणाय ही नम पर ब्रह्माय ब्रह्म रूपाय रूप शुद्धाय ही नम पवीताय विश्वसस्ताय विक्रांतरात्मने 
महासत्वाल काम कुंभार संग कर पटवे जनकाया विश्व वैद्याया विश्वम बराया ही नमः प्राप्त भावायु पार प्राप्ताया चंद्र कांताया ही नमः गुणाकाराया गुणाक्रीमाया गुणविशेषताया ही नमः गुरुदेवाया गुरुवक्त्राया गुरुचरणाया ही नमः of Lord Shiva. Janak arranges a swayamvar and raises a condition that whosoever strung the Shiva Dhanush would win the hand of his daughter Sita. On receiving an invitation from Janak, Vishwamitra asks the two brothers Ram and Lakshman to accompany him to Mithila.
Sita and his brothers marrying Sita's sisters. It was a time of happiness and elation in the kingdom of Ayodhya. Everyone was joyful and everything was just perfect for the people. The Praja looked at Prince Ram as the future king of Ayodhya and that was the desire of King Dashrath too. The preparations for coronation of Prince Ram began. But life is not as simple and easy as it seems. The circle of life had taken a turn and the happiness was soon to turn into gloom. Dashrath's second wife, Kekai, does not want Ram, but her own son Bharat to be the king of Ayodhya. She compels Dashrath to grant her the promised two boons. One was to crown Bharat as the king of Ayodhya, and the second to send Ram for a 14 years of exile to the forest. Ram fulfills his dharam of being an obedient son and keeps his father's promise. He willingly goes for 14 years of exile. He is accompanied by Sita and Lakshman. The people of Ayodhya are distressed and bid them a tearful farewell. सूर्य भी चढ़ता है क्या कभी बिन बाती दीपक जलता है क्या कभी अंबर से सूर्य भी चढ़ता है क्या कभी बिन बाती दीपक जलता है कैसी है ये अनहोनी हर आधुनिक छोड़ गया जो तू कैसे जिएंगे हम
headed towards Chitrakoot. The boatman Kavad, a true devotee, made them sit in his boat and cross the Ganges. Back in Ayodhya, the grief of being apart from his son for 14 years was too much for King Dashrath to bear. And he soon breathed his last. Crestfallen, Bharat did not accept the plan of his mother Kekai and reached its recruit to request Ram to return to Ayodhya and be the rightful king. But Ram does not relent. Ragukul Reet Sada Chali Ai Pran Jai Par Vachanna Jai. The three leave Chitrakoot and spend the next 13 years in the forest, saving the people there of many troubles, meditating and gaining many blessings. Ram and Lakshman are blessed by Rishi Augusta Muni with many special powers and divine weapons. Finally, they reach Panchpati.
last year of their exile. While Sita and Lakshman recall the good times at Ayodhya, Ram knew that the final year of their exile was not going to be an easy one. One day, while Ram is meditating, trouble comes to their doorstep in form of Shirpnaka, the dreadful demoness. He is Ravan and this is his Lanka.
जल प्रवाह पावित स्थले कले वलम्ब्य लंबिता भुजंग मंगमालिकाद वर्वयं चकार चंड तांडव तनो तो न शिव शिव decides to avenge the insult meted out to his sister surprakha the haughty and immoral ravan takes the help of his uncle maricha to change form as a golden deer and create a distraction for ram in panchvati thinking it to be an exotic golden deer sita asks ram to fetch it and ram goes after it
Ravan, the king of demons, has abducted Sita. Ram and Lakshman are crestfallen. They soon reach Vanar Nagri, Kishkintha. Kishkintha. <laughs> has been kept as a prisoner at Ashok Vatika by Ravan. He persuades Sita to marry him. Sita rebukes him. While Ram Bhatt Hanuman reaches Ashok Vatika.
the court of Ravan. Hanuman counsels Ravan to release Sita Mata and ask for forgiveness from Shri Ram. Ravan creates an illusion using his ten heads to deceive Hanuman. Ravan orders his soldiers to put Hanuman's tail on fire to teach him a lesson. Hanuman has been blessed by Surya to be able to change his size on will. He lets the soldiers put his tail on fire. Pavan Putra Hanuman burns Ravan's Lanka. on Ravan and proceeds to Lanka. 
the vana sena builds a bridge ram setu across the ocean Lakshman, along with the Vana Sena, attack Lanka. Ravan wakes his brother Kumbhkaran to fight Ram, and finally, he himself jumps in the battle.
the end of the demon king ravan no matter how powerful evil is it will always be defeated by good truth always wins ramayana shows us the values of following dhan the principle of cosmic existence and conforming to one's duty ram followed the dharm of being an obedient son standing by his family and the promise made by his father he valued the relationships above any greed or title while lakshman and bharat did the same by valuing the relation with their brother ram above anything else sita is the silent figure of strength and courage she is the epitome of devotion as a wife even as she goes through many trials and tribulations at the shores of lanka ram speaks these words to lakshman even after this battle of lanka the war shall be fought again and again until time ends ramayana is indeed alive even today for now in this story as they return to ayodhya ram sita lakshman and hanuman are welcomed by all this is the beginning of ram rajya
Oh, <laughs> 